Alexa's dreaming now, drifting off my couch. We walked down the street, she's walked a thousand times. What is up guys, it is just Summer back with another video. One thing that I've been learning to do, working on myself internally will definitely show change like externally. Creating those healthy habits that way I know like I feel a change and it's like it's a genuine change. It's not like a cop out or like a cover up. It's like an actual genuine change. If you've been following along thus far, um, then you know I've talked about this in a few videos but I've been working on my self-fulfillment which pretty much means that um, I'm not seeking for someone else to make me happy it's mostly like me just making me happy um, not saying that like oh you can't have friends when you're like on this self-fulfillment journey the old me going through like a big separation I would definitely have been like seeking someone else to help like pass the time which makes no sense because a depressed person and a depressed person can't make each other happy um, I have absolutely learned that and um, a sad person an unhappy person um, or an unself-fulfilled person and another unself-fulfilled person can't make each other happy so just working on my self-fulfillment and doing those things um, and adding and creating those habits that will help me internally so that I know I'm gonna get a great result and see that externally and when looking into the mirror then I know like pretty much I'm battling myself I'm not trying to prove to who used to be or prove to who is doing something that you know oh i wish i was doing um it's just more so me battling within within myself i've been doing things that's been adding joy and happiness to this self-fulfillment journey like at the beginning of this video you guys seen that i was like trying on clothes um i went to target who doesn't freaking love target um, but I was trying on clothes and first of all your girl is in a medium like It's crazy 
it's crazy it's crazy like i used to wear like a 2x a 3x which nothing wrong with that you know what i'm saying your body is your body but your girl has been definitely going through a lot of major changes in her life and um working out and losing weight and thinking positively it definitely took me time um just because there was a point where i stopped thinking positive to myself and I was just giving out that positive energy to other people and making them trying to make them feel happy happy within themselves when really it's not my job I can't make someone else happy I have tried I have failed we've all been there maybe I don't know but as far as for me I have went down that road and tried to make someone so so happy and do all that I can to make them happy but it's not realizing and coming to terms that like that's just not my job it's something that they have to want for themselves and know how to do for themselves so i've been adding just self-love and self-care and what is it that thing what are some things that i like to do to show myself like you know hey i love you as weird as it sounds but you have to love yourself you need to love your body because your body does a million trillion things for you so just showing yourself that appreciation back and i don't know that just to me it makes sense to just give off that like self-care so um just throwing out the old there are so many old clothes that i had in my closet um so many old clothes that just held like bad memories for me I was just like I don't want to keep and hold on to these things so um I went shopping for new clothes and things that just made me feel good made my body feel good made me feel confident in my new body new body but um yeah I was trying on a few pieces and then um I also went to James Avery and I treated myself to like a super early Mother's Day gift but me being a single mom I'm not in a relationship not seeking for in a relationship for a new relationship um i wanted to treat myself and give myself that love um plus as crazy as it sounds i'm pretty sure i'm gonna buy allura something for mother's day even though it's like my day i'm sure i'm gonna do it like for her so because she made me a mommy so yeah the more healthy habits i've been doing is like going to bed early earlier i used to go to bed at like 11 11 30 12 o'clock but i've definitely been going to bed at like 10 9 40 ish and that is because um i'm not scrolling so much on social media at night anymore like i was doing i was just getting in bed and then scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling um which was doing like nothing for me um on top of that i unfollowed a lot of people <laughs> i unfollowed quite a bit of people on social media because they weren't adding anything a lot of it was drama a lot of it was stuff that was like depressing stuff that was sad stuff that i didn't even have interest in so i definitely did for sure um unfollow a few social media platforms that just wasn't adding anything into this new era into this new wave that i'm in i've been eating healthier so that is great that kind of falls into the gat into the category category into the category of uh, my weight loss and everything pretty much identifying like what foods make me feel a certain way like oh if i eat this i'm gonna feel like 600 freaking pounds by the time i'm done eating it um it tastes good which normally is like a huge burger oh my gosh like i love a good burger but if i eat a huge giant burger not healthy not vegan not plant-based or whatever i'm gonna feel like a 600 pound person by the time i finish eating that burger that's just not how i want to feel so i've definitely been eating healthier and drinking more water your girl is still an olipop girl okay i'm still an olipop girl my dudes i'm just drinking more water 
Um, I don't drink as many Powerades as I used to. Um, Blue Powerade used to be my fix. Oh my gosh, used to be my fix. But there's like a ton of sugar in it. But um, I still drink Blue Powerade, just not like as much as I used to. But I can say your girl is still an Olipop girl. Um, and I've added just more water into into my diet because for one it does wonders for the skin but for two like you're supposed to have eight i found out because i was guessing in the last couple videos back how many waters you're supposed to have like a day you're supposed to have eight eight freaking bottles of water a day that's crazy that's i was definitely not hitting half of the eight okay I started reading um, Atomic Habits, which I did mention in my last vlog, which has also helped me just like mentally like trying to incorporate those new habits, those successful habits, those consistent habits and discipline and everything like that. Um, so that is a new read for me, but also UOU by Eric Thomas. Um, I'm actually about to order that. He has a virtual um like class thing that he has going on and he's promoting right now um but i'm just gonna go ahead and buy the book because i know i'm gonna be able to keep the book opposed to the little like master class or whatever it is that he's promoting um it's virtual but it's not gonna be there forever yes i could take notes but i'd rather have the book that way i can like pinpoint certain areas within the book so um and uou is pretty much basically about helps you understand like your why why you're doing why are you doing things your drive help building that consistency and like if you know eric thomas he's a dog like he's he's a dog and i i love motivational stuff and it's crazy that i stopped listening to it and watching it for so long um but i'm getting back to it and like touching bases on the things that I actually enjoy doing, oh my gosh, there's a bluebird in my window. And it is so cute. My mental, sorry, I like seen it and I'm just like, oh my gosh. That's um another book that I'm about to add on. Um, I've also started reading this No Drama Discipline book. I got this when I was pregnant actually. Um... And then literally Atomic Habits is sitting right next to it. But I got this when I was pregnant. The um, No Drama Discipline. And that's more of like a parenting book. Like a helpful guide if you will. You know I have like a goal at the end of the year. Of how many books I want to finish. So which I would like to finish Atomic Habits for sure. And depending on the UOU. I believe it's only 10 chapters of UOU. And I believe out of them 10 chapters, it's like 288 or 388 pages. So I feel like I'll be able to finish that one too. It just all depends. It all depends um, because I don't read the self-help books like every day. I have like what I normally do is, okay, let me finish one chapter a week. Reflect how do I feel about it. If I want to take notes about it, let me take notes about it because... It's just, it's it's important to just do like that extra, that extra mile definitely does go a long way. And you for sure, when you sit back and you realize like all that you are doing and putting in, like you're, at least for me, how I feel is that I feel like I'm accomplishing something like little by little. I feel like, because by the time I finish finish the actual book it's like man I could have like not more so I could have applied it to this 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 part of my life back then because you have to forgive yourself of the past you have to let that go and you have to literally move forward and if you are dwelling on like the past and what didn't work and what time was wasted or whatever you feel um you're not gonna grow and move forward like you have to let that past go for you to grow and to move forward i'll just feel like a sense of accomplishment by the time i finish reading the books i've been journaling every day journaling is a must for me i started journaling um at the beginning of the year which i actually did mention in my last vlog too it's definitely helped me quite a bit um 
just not keeping so much in my brain and just treating my brain like a like a computer journaling and like touching bases like with myself and putting it on paper and plus it's kind of like snapchat memories you can go back and read and be like man i was here during this time in my life and man i was feeling this way about this point of view like this point in my life so that's another reason why i like to journal um i don't really look at snapchat memories anymore i found that that's not healthy for me just because those snapchat memories where i thought i was so happy and felt so fulfilled and it it absolutely wasn't that it was more so like i want these memories to look back on in a year but i really i wasn't happy and i thought i was but i I wasn't happy. I didn't feel the pure joyness of life back then. Managing my finances is also another thing that I have definitely incorporated. Just saying no to the extra things like Chick-fil-A, um, like that extra iced coffee, and just like making it at home or going to the grocery store and actually sticking to the grocery store order and not leaving the grocery store full of bags in your trunk and still stopping by a fast food place. I have done it a million and three times and I simply, it's yeah. definitely something that I have to work on. It's definitely something I have worked Welcome. on. Wha Welcome. But yeah, that's another thing that I have for sure cut out. It's very important to manage your finances. Self-care is another must thing for me. I do this every day and I used to not put that much work into my skin and much time into me getting myself together and ready for the day but self-care is a must. Like if I skip it, I feel it. If I don't wash my face and put all that extra love and goodness into my body, I for sure feel it and it's not a good feeling for your girl for sure so I will say that taking that extra step and doing the self-care especially at the end of the day when I put Allura down for the night and I can just relax and focus on me that adds joy happiness and relaxation to me every single night lastly to wrap it up because my camera is dying therapy <sighs> Okay guys, so the camera in fact did die, but the last thing is therapy. Just having that person to talk to and identifying, am I depressed? Am I feeling away? Am I unhappy? Do I feel unfulfilled in this area of my life or whatever so forth? But I thought that I was being lazy at one point in my life when in fact I was depressed and I didn't feel like depressed was the right term I thought that like oh I'm just being lazy I'm in this big funk and I don't feel like I'm feeling I just feel like you know oh this will be temporary and then it would be you know a week and then it'll be another week and then it'll be another week and I'm thinking, you know, I'm I'm labeling it as laziness when really it was like, hey man, like I actually was depressed. I will definitely recommend therapy to anyone who feels like they need it or even if you feel like you don't need it but you feel like there's some bases that you want to touch and you don't want to put them on your friends or put them on your family um, or you don't feel like you have the support system no. to put it on any, put it on anybody that's more so my like little standpoint on therapy i'm not gonna get like too deep into it because it is relatively still new to me um i've been doing it for a while but not a long while but my dudes that is the end of today's video and it was relatively short i feel like this vlog is definitely gonna be like a short vlog um a short one for sure but i just wanted to touch bases and share a few things that have been, that has been helping me adding those successful habits and touching bases on just my inner my inner self so thank you so much for watching and i will for sure see you in the next one all right my dudes bye